I'm excited to have you here. I'm a big True Blood fan, great, personally. Great. And so, you know, tell me what's going on. You guys are, you wrapped up season five. It finished this summer. Are you starting to film again in January for season six? We are starting. In fact, I had my first wardrobe fitting today, which for Pam is such a huge part of my character. And it's like Christmas for me because Audrey Fisher is so amazing. And I just go in and see this rack of Pam. I mean, you know, last uh, season two, you guys did a lot of flashback episodes. Yeah. You know, how fun is that getting into some of those period pieces? It was really incredible also because I had waited for years to find out what Pam's relationship with Eric really was and her backstory. So to read it was amazing, to film it, and then to have it be period was, it was great. It was so much fun. You know, we never get bored on this show and it also feels like with HBO, you get more time to naturally find out about the characters. So it feels really good as an actor. You get to evolve over four seasons. Every episode doesn't have to stand on its own. So it, 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 was, it was amazing. Every year when I think and imagine of what I might be doing next year, when I read it, it's always better. The writers are just so good. I, mean, I was so excited because I love HBO, and then Alan Ball, and then Vampire. Those three things I heard before the audition and wanted to hear no more, because I still have to go in the room and get the job. And, but I, I no, and, and every year I'm actually surprised at how much it's grown. And I've been traveling the globe this year, and to land in the Kenya airport and have someone come up to me and go, are you Pam? You think, wow, it's, A, I've been on a plane for 24 hours and <laughs> really, Wish I were looking fresher at the moment, but also it's astounding to actually see in my daily life how much it keeps growing. True Blood is also, it's, it's really bloody. Yeah. It's really gory. What's that yeah. like? Yeah. On the set, it's comical. On the set, it's, it's funny. And that's every once in a while. If you see, ever saw the making of True Blood, if they ever wanted to sort of ruin it for fans, you know, it's, if I look just right there, what the camera is saying, it looks kind of creepy. But then if I just look over there, there's like some construction guys, you know, in flannel and boots, with, you know, with gallons of blood labeled, and it just becomes ridiculous. <laughs> well, I guess that's the whole, it's the magic of the movies, right? It's really the, 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 the magic fans, of the movies. And nobody wants to say, uh, you know, nobody wants to ruin it for them. No, the bloopers are amazing, and they haven't released them, and I think that's why, but they're really good. I have a question here from Nima A, who's one of our viewers, who says, Alona, please ask Kristen if she speaks another language like her character. No, and when I have to speak another language, it's really frightening. Because for me, when I, it's Swedish, because Alex Skarsgård is Swedish. It, it's memorizing gibberish. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm saying. It, it's really <laughs> nerve-wracking.